Hello everyone, X Evolution here, and I'm here with XCOM, Enemy Within the Long War. We are now officially on Beta 14, and I can't wait to get started. Man, I've been following the development for a while uh, on the side, mostly because I've been working a lot, just got a new job, uh, quite enjoying myself. We're going to go on impossible difficulty, by the way. Like I was promising, we're going to disable or reduce beginner VO, but we're not going to turn on Iron Man. Iron Man on this one doesn't sound like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, I got a new job. Been working around the clock pretty much. Haven't had much time for streaming or recording. Even less time for gaming in general. But that's alright. Because I like my job. Anyway, we're going to start... Uh, Long War, Beta 14, it begins. of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. So, there's the uh, ever prevalent intro to XCOM Enemy Within. So there's a few things I want to go over. Um, first of all, I did manage to get a newer CPU. It's well, not really newer, but it's better for what I need it for. I got a Core 2 Quad Q8400. Went from an E8400 to a Q8400. To get those extra cores, slightly lower clock speed. Uh, overclocked to 3.1 gigahertz versus the E8400's 3.5. But, with the extra cores, it should make my recordings much, much smoother. And it should really improve the overall quality of my videos. It's, it's no i7, but it'll get the job done, I think. Another thing, um, I guess I've been following some of the development for the, uh, for the Long War mod. Learning what's been going on, and I see that they have changed... The future combat bonus from being foundry cost reduction and the uh, and the officer training school reduction to just the foundry cost. They moved the uh, officer training school reductions over to Europe, which can make it a slightly more powerful bonus. Now these are one-time purchases, so 
it's something that you maybe still don't want, but it does also give you those laboratories workshops. And that could make it worthwhile. North America, though, is still just as strong as ever. And I would hate to lose that bonus. Asia is still pretty strong, though, if you think about it. The Foundry has so many projects worth getting. So many of them uh, that a 60% reduction in cost is a huge benefit. And that's 60% reduction in cost in, in cash and in materials. So it's still really good. I really, I, I kind of want to go Europe, kind of want to go Asia, and kind of want to go North America. Mm, Europe might be good enough where it's worth taking now. Hmm. You know what? For this playthrough, we're going to try Europe. We'll go for Europe, get like a workshop and a laboratory early. Get the officer training school as early as possible. And then move on to North America. Hopefully they take something like South America or Africa. That way I can still get the Asian uh, bonus. So yeah, let's do it. Europe. Alright, this is a good map. Another thing they changed, which I've been looking forward to, is they made it so you have random uh, landing zones. Now, random landing zones means we could be we could spawn here like we normally would. We could spawn here. We could spawn there. There. We could spawn anywhere along the edge of the map. So I'm looking forward to how it will feel different just by starting at different sides of the map. All right. So let's meet our crew. We've got a bunch of fresh-faced red shirts. She doesn't look very fresh faced, but that's all right. Strike one. This is oh, central. over here, huh? Free to engage all hostile contact you started. I started an exalt mission here once on beta thirteen. Uh, let's check out our equipment. We have uh, an HE grenade and an AP grenade on Ulf Schroeder. Now I am using the a, an ex expanded name list mod, which will in increase the number of names we get. Sonia Beasley, she also has an HE grenade. I like that. Two HE grenades so far that we can use. An AP and uh, maybe an, a ceramic plating. Oh yeah, definitely a ceramic plating. We can see that now because of that other change here. The health bars. These darker or these blue ones are armor. The white ones are base health. As you can see, this person has five base health and only one armor. Five and one. So this person only has three, but he has two from it. Pretty good. Okay, so he has a ceramic plate. His aim is also really terrible. Uh, his will's pretty high. Hopefully he becomes, like, a medic or something. I, actually, I can choose what class, because I, I still have the Commander's Choice mod installed. And... I, I did leave Exalt enabled, so I'm hoping that the changes they made there are going to be enjoyable. Another HE grenade, that's very useful. 62 offense. 63 offense. Did I get anybody with good aim? 61? 65? Oh my god, that's terrible. Nobody got any good aim on this one. Okay, well, at least we have HE grenades. We have a flashbang. We got four HE grenades. That never happens. No, five HE grenades. Is that right? One, two, th three. No, we got four and a flashbang, and then one person has a ceramic plate. Alright. Well, for this map, uh, we've got some decent choices of cover. Really, the truck would be good because we can peek from both sides. We can peek from this side here. We could uh, peek around the side here. Not really sure if that's where I want to peek around, though. All right, well, I guess we can start off with, well, first of all, actually, let's see if I can find out where our meld is. That might make it uh, worth going a different route, 
or different direction, different route. Hmm. I don't quite see any meld yet. There's gotta be some on this map though. Wait, nope, that wasn't it. Wait, is that? No, that's not it either. I bet I know where it is. It's probably right inside this building somewhere. Come on. Let's try to zoom in. I don't see any. Maybe they uh, modified it. Oh, wait, there's one. There's one. Never mind. I was going to say maybe they modified it. Oh, and there's the other one. So there's at least two meld. And they are straight through the uh, open field. Okay. So, this truck here. That's full cover. Half cover. But I want to go this route, though. There could be aliens on the roof, and that would be pretty bad for me. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Heading to that location. Oh, aliens so far. Heading to that location. Aye, aye, Commander. That's affirmative. In the vehicle. Aye, aye, Commander. And the game even feels smoother with this new CPU. It's great. All right. Um, let's, I guess Overwatch. Okay, we hear the sectoids. Hmm. No aliens. All right, that kind of worries me. Let's keep going. Heading there now. We haven't gotten any um any indicators of their direction yet, so we we're kind of just going in blind. Oh, yeah. We didn't even read off all the names of our squad. Okay, so they're definitely inside the building, or maybe on the roof. So what do we have? We have Ol Schroeder. Uh, Iwa Andreasen. Ifeoma Seku. Sonia Beasley. Anissa Hoda. And Xiaomin Yun. Run him over there. Where's the goods? Right there, okay. Hmm. I'm gonna take a risk here and move two steps farther, and it. two and a half steps further, I think that counts as. And it worked out alright. I would like to get that meld. And last but not least, Iwa Andreessen. Now, cover behind these trucks could be good because it is full cover. This one here, this one here. This one's only half cover. See what we've got no aliens yet. All right. Aye, aye, Commander. Getting it done. Click a house. I'm on it, Commander. Moving out. What was that? Oh, here they come. We got some Overwatches. All right, that's two misses. It's to be expected from rookies. Ah, here comes some more. There's ooh, look at all those hits right there. Uh oh, two two pods. 
Now, we do have HE grenades galore, though. And that could be a perfect place to place one. Somewhere right around here, blow up all that cover. Ooh, I could even get over here. Alright, let's see who we're gonna put where. You have a, uh, an HE grenade. So do you. And so do you. And so do you. Look at that. All my closest people have HEs. That's great. So I'm gonna start off with you over here. You have two flanks. Um, before I take those shots, I'm also gonna put you right here in this phone booth. That's also full cover. And you even have a, a flank, don't you? No, yeah, you do. You have a flank on that one. Alright, and you're going to take the meld. On the move. Got it. Plus three. Let's take some shots. Alright, 62%. 32. 17. Let's go for the 62. Wait, we have two 62s. That's right. Let's go for the... Uh, let's go for the closer one. Good kill. What was your name, soldier? One shot, one kill. Anissa. Good job. You earned it. All right, Beasley with a 63 on the leader. Now we would most likely need a crit to get this kill. Do it. Ooh, nice one. Was that a crit? It was, six damage, very good. Now, as for you, do I want you to throw a grenade? I think I do. If you blow up that cover right here, then Shill can run up here along the truck, shoot him, pew pew pew, that should do it. First before you commit to that though, let's throw the grenade and see if it blows it up. It should. I don't think that's that durable. We'll see though. Yeah, it did the job. Perfect. Alright, 60%. That's a miss. Okay, it's alright. You do see this one. I might want you to shoot from back here. I doubt you'll be able to see from here. Maybe even from here. That might be good enough. Do it. Wolf Schroeder. 61. Good job. And Iwa Andreasen. We're going to take this spot. 35, 20. You know what? You're going to take this shot. No, you're going to steady your weapon. He's advancing. Ballsy. What's he doing? He's taking a shot? Ooh, okay. Now I know that they uh, buffed sectoids by giving or by removing that range penalty on their pistols. Or no, they gave them gunslingers, what it is. Alright. Cypanic failed, that's good. Now. You. Didn't I only take one shot with these people? Why do they only have two ammo in their guns? Interesting. Anyway, we're going to throw another HE grenade right here. Hoda's already gotten a kill, so... She can blow up the cover. That can give other people chances to get those, get those kills. And it only blew up half the cover. That's alright. Schroeder, you've already gotten a kill. 
Uh, Chill Min Yoon. Here's your chance, man. Actually, you know what? Do I want you to run over here for a range bonus? Maybe, maybe not. I would also get you closer to that meld. Well, not really. Um, let's see. Would like you to get killed though. So let's just improve our odds. Ooh. You know what? I actually like the uh, idea of going after this flank instead, and then using my other people to go after the uh, one out in the open. And that's another miss. Alright, you. You steadied your weapon. That's an 85% chance to kill. Good job. Seku. He should be scared at this point. He is the only one left. Moving to position. Uh, that's active anyway. So let's stand out in the open for this one. 89%. Good kill. Kill confirmed. Alright. Move you up. Ulf Schroeder. You've already earned a kill, so that's good. Who hasn't earned a kill? Sonia, you got one. I think everyone might have gotten a kill except for uh Except for our man Shul Min Yoon here. Moving out. Back online. I'm on the move. All right, let's advance towards that other meld. Getting it done. I'm rolling. Okay. Moving to position. And get everyone reloaded. That's not reloaded already. Let's rock. We're green to go. I'm ready. Oh yeah. They're not making any sounds. Or if they are, I can't hear them. I'm not wearing headphones right now, so I, like I usually am. So I can't hear the little details. But we will grab our meld here. Very nice. Three more. Hmm. Get everyone moved into position because we know where they are. It should be one last pod. I mean, it could be another one, but I don't think it will be. It actually, could be up on the roof. Uh, I don't know. I think we would have seen it already if it was on the roof, unless it's like behind there. Position confirmed. Moving. I'm on it, Commander. Chill Min Yoon, you gotta get yourself a kill. We want you to have that promotion. Okay, it is sectoids. Good. Get everyone going forward. Let's get this show on the road. Finish our First mission is strong. Alright, so they might be patrolling around the back, which would be fine. Okay. 
We got two going through there. That's affirmative. On my way. Two going through there and I'm on it, two going over to this door. Should be able to handle it pretty easily no matter where they run to. Oh, here they come. They come through the door. And those are some close overwatches, too. Boom! Got owned. Get wrecked, son. Alright, so. Schroeder, you've already gotten a kill. I think what I'm going to have you do is... Hmm. You're going to stand right here and throw a grenade. And if that blows up the walls, which you did a very nice job of doing, then our man here, Shou Min Yoon, should have at least one easy kill. Seventy-seven percent. That's pretty good. Don't miss this time. There you go. You earned it. Okay. Anissa. Eighty-seven percent. It's all you. Good job with that seven damage crit. As for these guys, hmm. Now that car or that truck right there is indestructible. So, what's the option here to reduce risk? I could throw a grenade, that would reduce risk a lot. That would also reduce the amount of, uh, amount of salvage we get from the mission, I guess you could say. Hmm. You know what? Moving. So only one left. We'll just throw a flashbang on him. Because I think it's the only enemy left. There could be an extra pod here, but I don't think there is. That flashbang is to allow us to sprint to wherever the hell we want. Like right here. Or even... No, we don't want to go half cover. It's not impossible to get hit. Out. You're going to run over there. And Beasley here is going to... Hmm. Beasley's going to run over here. Okay. An overwatch. Now the chances of him hitting through that overwatch when he is uh, flashbanged are pretty low. Hmm. Guess we'll just take shots at him. We have two people that can run into flank if it, if it comes to it. You can't see him? Okay. Hmm. This ice machine is going to burn soon. We can't even get through the door because it's got debris or a corpse or something on it. See Schroeder, sixteen percent chance. No. Yoon, thirteen. All right, who has the most health? I think we're just gonna run it. Dash it, I should say. Okay, good.
All right, finish it off. If you must seku, one hundred percent for the win. All right, so no injuries, no losses, of course. Uh, we didn't even kill any with explosives. So we should have the maximum return on investment, not really in return on investment, but we should have the maximum amount of uh, salvage from that mission. Corpses, fragments, anything you could ask for. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold, providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Thank you, Bradford. So, strategy game time. Excellent work, Commander. Mm, look at all Our those promotions. Able to recover so much of the and Anissa Hoda with four kills. What a beast. All these scout snipers. And <laughs> really, that's probably the only thing they're good at with those stats. But we'll wait. Commander to the research labs. Commander to Support. The research labs. Some pretty good movement, pretty good health. Okay, Will. Huh. Tactical weapons. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research Rocketeer, labs. maybe. Scout sniper here. <laughs> Definitely a scout. But then again, we are. Uh, we have commander's choice, so we can do whatever we want there. So instead of picking the promotions for now, we're going to start our research and then start scanning for the next mission. Ten corpses, ten fragments, six meld. We did good on that. So, research. Dr. Valen. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Valen. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Alright, so let's do the standard and start off with Xenobiology. Five sectoid corpses takes 18 the days. The complexities of our latest research projects are overwhelming the current staff. Ah, Commander. And I was Dr. wondering Shen. when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Start off shotgun. Let's get some of them. And we have 359 bucks. With that 359 bucks, we want to get. See what's our Every member of the council is going to satellite uh, uplink cover right now. One satellite, right? Oh man, look at that. That panic right from the start. It's so high. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Alright, so we get one out of one. Commander to now, control. Europe has Commander four countries. Control. So let's start off with Emerson. uh we'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. See, satellite uplink. 200 bucks. And this is how fast again? 25? 21 days. So really we should build, start off with building uh, two satellites. Commander, our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. Maybe we should build one satellite. 
and build another one later. Because if we build two, we won't be able to build the satellite uplink un unless we get a mission on time. Commander to mission control. Commander the, yeah, that's what, I think control. that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build one satellite now. Build one satellite uplink. Second. Oh, I got two steam. Praise be to Long War for not screwing me over this time. A satellite uplink. And the fact that one of the steams is really close. I like that. We have a block of steam, or a block of power, like right here. That looks pretty good. So yeah, satellite uplink. That maxes out our power. Oh, that maxes out our power. I can't build an access lift unless I build a generator first. That's different. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. Hmm. Strategy game has changed. Normally you can build your satellite uplink and then later build the access lift without having to build the power generator. So the fact that building just a satellite uplink maxes out your power changes the early game. That means this spot right here is going to have to be a generator. Vision generator. Hmm. And thermal generator supplies 25? I thought it provided 30. Maybe they nerfed it. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. Power generator. All right. So yeah, let's build satellite uplink. We want to get those built as soon as possible because we want to get our first satellite launched before the end of the month. That's why I decided to build the satellite uplink and the one satellite right away. What else do we need here? Let's look at our soldiers. Oh, we have only one with good aim. One with okay aim. Wow, we really only have two in the 70s. Pretty bad. Alright, what about our hangar? Let's rename some... Uh, Commander to mission control. Rename button's down here now. Used to be uh, right here, I think. Is that... No, that's how, that's how it's always been, isn't it? Alright, what else do we have? Finances, gray market. Things are still worth the same amount, it looks like. Alright, so not that many changes right there. Alright, mission control. Let's uh, scan for our first mission. Alright, saw our shotguns are complete. Abductions. We picked up multiple requests for assistance. In India. Abductions and progress Rajkot, the India. Oh, look at that. They finally finally made it so you don't have to deselect your crew every time. It's so good. So with our first mission, we're gonna bring our first non starting mission. We're going to bring Lillian Lang Langlois. We're also going to bring Damon Fowler. Nina Van Bergen. Mason Omamla. <laughs> That's quite the name you have there, Mason. Uh, Vitor de pa Paiva and Constantino Storia. It's going to be our squad. Their loadout is going to be attack armor, assault rifle, pistol, 
AT grenade. And a flashbang. It's going to be the typical XE loadout for rookies. Oops. So what does that say? Plus one mobility? Oh. Well, it's minus two just like it used to be, but they changed what it says right here. Hmm. Okay, well, tack armor it is. Along with... Oh, oh they made new uh, graphics here. The high-capacity mags, check that one out. What else is new? Uh, looks like nothing I have available right now. Can't believe that these things only have two shots now. Well, oh, three shots? It says three base ammo, but I only got two shots on that last mission. Oh no, I overwatched, that's right. I remember now, I did overwatch that one turn. Okay, so that's alright. HE and a flashbang. Typical rookie loadout. HE flash. Attack armor. And you know what? Whoever has the lowest aim is going to carry a med kit and a smoke grenade. Who was it? 67 for both of these. 74, not you. 68. 67, and you also have low mobility. I think it's gonna be you. Smoke grenade and a med kit. All right, that's our squad. This was X Evolution, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit that follow button, and I will see you next time. We're really taking on this operation at a settlement. I'm not going to do like I was doing before because it invited me to play a lot longer than I need to, and I do have to play. I have to do have to get my sleep with my new job. So, yeah, this settlement here is where our next mission is going to be. What map? It's going to be a surprise. Well, I'll see you then. Peace.